Now, again, it's helping you through this challenge here. You've been through this before. So no, no stress, no worries, no fears. Just pay attention. And if you see any red flags, don't be afraid to walk away. Hello, my friends. My name is Nina. This channel is about spirituality and personal development mixed in with a bit of tarot. If this is something you resonate with, feel free to subscribe and be sure to hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload more readings. Hello, everyone, and welcome in. So the message we are channeling today is going to be a singles reading for the sign of Scorpio. If you want to skip straight through to the message, there will be a timestamp below. For rules on how to receive tarot messages on YouTube, please check below in the description box. Especially if you're confused, guys, I've laid it all out down there. For your full tarot scope, you can check other placements for other messages. Now, before we jump into the energy, I'm going to clear the space, set the intentions. During this time, I invite you to clear your own thoughts, set your own intentions by thinking of a person or asking a question you have on your mind. So let's dive in. Spirit, guides, Archangel Uriel, Raphael, and Michael, I call upon you. Thank you for allowing the opportunity, clairvoyance, and insight to channel these messages. Please allow a clear message to come through to those who need it. Please protect me, the seeker, in the space from any negative entities. Thank you again, spirit, guides, archangels. Amen. All right, Scorpio, so let's dive in to your next love interest and see what we can see. Most important message here for Scorpio spirit, what do my Scorpion friends need to know? Please and thank you. Now, if you find the message is helpful or resonating, please give it a thumbs up. Also, guys, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. High Priestess is coming out. We'll see how this fits into the reading, but this is definitely a card of intuition. This is also a card of secrets. So something being hidden. We'll see how this plays into the energy here. The energy surrounding your new love, your next love, is the Ace of Cups. Is this an instant connection? Is the judgment? What will they be like? Seven of Swords. The challenge here is the Hanged Man. What's helping you is the Five of Pentacles. You've gone through this before. When, where, how will you meet Queen of Swords? A lot of you may already know this person. This may be somebody who you've recently met um, or thinking about. I definitely feel like there's a need to trust your intuition here, Scorpio, when it comes to this person. And not necessarily that they have bad intentions, but I feel like they're still releasing themselves from something from the past that is no longer working for them. And they may not be completely honest about this. So just be mindful of their energy. Okay. Now, again, it's helping you through this challenge here. You've been through this before. So no, no stress, no worries, no fears. Just pay attention. And if you see any red flags, don't be afraid to walk away. Now we'll pull a few cards for advice at the end. First, let's clarify. We're going to start with the Ace of Cups. So I feel like this person may have a tendency to love bomb, but I feel like they're coming in with a lot of love. May express it a lot with you. Okay, may tell you a lot how they feel. Tell you how amazing you are. They're always trying to uplift, trying to unnerve 
But we see here with the Six of Cups that they're going back and forth with somebody from their past. Okay. Ace of Cups. The Judgment Energy is a card of liberation, of freeing themselves. I feel here, Scorpio, this person wants something new in their life. But it's almost as if they want, it's like they want to just instantly move on in, into a new connection. And that's not how this works. It's not how this process works. There's a process to grieving a past relationship and healing. Okay. And because they are trying to move so quickly into a new relationship, they're not giving their self time to grieve, time to heal. You may have met this person through work, through a work situation. I do feel like they do help you a lot when it comes to work. And so maybe that's why you're kind of caught in a catch-22. This person may be a good friend, but maybe they've expressed that they want more. They enjoy your connection, your energy. You intuitively know here, Scorpio, this person is hiding something. So again, spirit is calling for you to pay attention to that. Don't ignore the red flags. Don't ignore the warning signs. You've already gone through something similar in the past. And so that's why you're receiving these downloads. That's why you're getting these messages from spirit. Okay. Trust the process here, Scorpio, because you've already gone through this. Now, the hanged man is telling me. It's like, even if you're trying to look at this from a different perspective, there's no other perspective, no other way to look at it. Especially if this person, it's been recent that they've disconnected from their ex. I guarantee you they're energetically still attached to that person. Let's clarify this hanged man energy for the challenge. Five of Pentacles, Eight of Cups in the reverse. So their past, their ex, comes back in and portrays like they need their help, like they can't do it without them, and they instantly take this person back no matter what they've gone through with this person in the past. Now, is that healthy? No, it's not. The reason why this is coming out, Scorpio, is you need to be mindful, High Priestess. Trust your intuition. This person is being deceptive. The seven of swords keeps coming out. And you don't want to get caught up in the confusion here. Caught up in the uncertainty. Caught up in this person choosing another person over you. Because that never feels good. Again, Scorpio, what's helping you is you can see their lives from a mile away. Especially if you give this time. Have patience with this process. This person isn't going to be able to be deceptive forever. I do feel like this isn't going to be easy. Because of how this person treats you. Love bombs and comes in and tells you everything that you want to hear. I will say, Scorpio, this may be mirroring back to you something that you're needing to pay attention to within yourself, it could also be showing you, testing you. Like, see, Scorpio, you know what you need to do when this energy comes into your energetic field. When an energetic being like this person comes into your bubble, it's okay to set boundaries with that person. It's okay to take your time. It's okay to be patient with the process. pull a few cards out here for your spiritual advice moving forward thank you guys again for all the love and support for liking subscribing sharing the content you guys are all freaking amazing
Nine of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Lovers with the Eight of Swords. Seven of Wands with the Eight of Cups. There's a decision that needs to be made here. Okay. You're going to see the signs from a mile away. I do feel like this person is still attached to an ex energetically. That they may feel like that is their soulmate connection. That is their twin flame. Um, and maybe that's why they're always allowing this person to infiltrate their energy. But you're being called to protect yourself at this time. Focus on your own path, your own purpose. And allow this person to match your energy. Which I feel here, Scorpio, to be honest with you, they won't. And that's when you're going to walk away. You're going to set boundaries with this person. They're going to make excuses. And you're going to see your intuition was right. Let's pull a few romance angels to sum up your reading. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. Calling in your soulmate. Keep an open mind. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type of expectation. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Could this be a test, Scorpio? I feel like this is a test, to be honest with you. This is testing you to see if you're ready for the next level, the next level of commitment, the next level in relationships, finding that life partner, finding somebody and accepting somebody that's going to come in and help balance you out. I do feel like this is definitely a test. For sure a warning message that you need to pay attention to the person that you're currently holding on to in your life. Because I do feel like this is a person that you've already met, Scorpio. Kindred spirits, power, new beginning, and awakening. Okay. Your soulmate is about to enter into your life and if you're still entwined with this person or have a lot of people that are creating confusion uncertainty um, a lot of distractions then you could miss this opportunity so I feel like spirit is guiding you to clear space um, clearing space for your soulmate Scorpio I feel like that's a good solid message coming out Thank you guys again for all the love and support, and I look forward to reading your cards again soon. Namaste.